Good morning, dear students. Today, I'm going to tell you something about antonyms. And I bet that you are well aware of what antonym is because you have studied in sixth standard as well. But it's a repetition of uh, what you have studied in sixth standard, antonyms. Of course, you must also be knowing about synonyms. But um, today, I'm going to remind you or uh, bring to your mind, mind back uh, some understanding about antonyms. So just to remind you, uh, to recall to your mind, antonyms is a word that is opposite to the another, to another. A word that is opposite to another in meaning, like for example, good, and for good antonym is bad, and for sad, the antonym is happy. So likewise, there are many words which has got its antonyms. And Therefore, today we'll look at few, uh, a list of a few antonyms and try to remember them. And of course, you can also find opposite meaning to any word you find in your books. So that will help you to learn more words. That's remember, to speak English, you must be uh, uh, very rich with your words of English. So your vocabulary, which is called, must be very rich to be able to speak a fluent and a very impressive English. So for that, it's an exercise. Antonyms, learning antonyms for a word helps you to remember and link one new word to the other uh, word. So it enhances your vocabulary as well. So it's better that we learn antonyms for any word. Like if we know good and we know opposite of it, antonym for it, bad, then we have learned two words together. So this will help you to learn more words if you learn antonyms, right? So why do we need to learn antonyms? Because it helps us to learn more words. Uh, you, uh, I, I hope you're with me. Okay, so let's uh, look at uh, the list of antonyms which is going to be played right after this video, uh, after this, um, uh, what do we call it, uh, scene. Okay, so let's look at it and try to understand and try to remember them. And you can also repeat the videos and see it, uh, watch it again and again so that you are able to uh, figure out what antonym should be like for any word. It can be different words. So let's begin it. Able, unable, above, below, absent, present, accept, decline, accept. Refuse, achieve, fail, admit, deny, admit, reject, against, for, Agree, disagree, or disagree, alive, dead, alone, together, always, never, ancient, Modern Answer Question Small Big Soft Hard Arrive Leave 
ascend, descend, ask, answer, attack, defend, awake, asleep, bad. Good, beautiful, ugly, before, after, begin, end, behind, in front of, Best, worst, big, little or small, bird, debt, bitter, sweet, black. White. So you have seen so many words and their antonyms. Now you know, make it a habit of uh, figuring out an antonym for any new word you come across. Any new word you know the meaning for. Like if you have learned the meaning of uh, angry, then try to find out the opposite of this angry. What is that? Then it will help you to learn another new word, and you will be remembering this word because you will know that it's antonym for that word. Like, if you know good, then bad is the opposite of it. Now, when you look at bad, then you will remember that good is opposite to it. Then it will help you to link two words together and help you remember them. So, do find words, uh, antonyms for any new word you learn, and try to link them and remember them. So this, this is a very easy and very helpful way to learn uh, or enhance your vocabulary uh, and new words, to learn more new words. So try to make this a habit of learning antonyms for any word. And it applies same to the synonyms which we'll learn later in our next video. Thank you.